I'm here today at the uh, Ocean Way Park and Community Center and I come down here every morning and sit down here and I have my coffee and smoke a cigar. And they had this event here last year and I didn't come to it but I did see it and so this morning when I was here, they were setting up and one thing and another, so I waited until they got set up. But anyway, this is the Jacksonville Race Car Club, and this is an annual event that they have. And they don't have a lot of vehicles here. There's probably about a dozen or so vehicles here. And I'm going to run through each one of them real quick and make a few comments. Now, I'm gonna tell you now that uh, I can probably get the decade right on a lot of these cars, but as far as the exact year of the car, I'll be hard pressed probably to get the exact year of the car, but I can probably come pretty close on most of them. So I'm gonna take a walk down the line and just do a shoot of all the cars down the line first and then I'll come back from the far end down there and we'll start looking some of these classic and antique race cars over. A lot of time and money go into these vehicles. And People take a lot of time. Got a lot of old timers down here. I call them old timers, they're my age. And uh, like I say, they enjoy what they're doing. So like I say, just walking down the line now and <coughs> taking a quick look at everything. And then we'll start when we get down here to this Imperial or Impala excuse me not Imperial Impala down here now this would be a 60s model and I'm gonna say a 63 to 65 maybe it's got a 327 in it red a lot of chrome. Nice looking car. Very nice looking car. Like I say, you can tell these people love what they do. Red on red. Red interior. Black steering wheel. Beautiful machine. Beautiful machine. Very nice. These cars now, when they first come out were just a few thousand dollars now a lot of these cars are 60 70 some of them over a hundred thousand dollars now this I'm gonna venture to say is a mid 80s Trans Am gold colored it's got the gold tan interior it's Trans Am I hope I didn't call it a Camaro a minute ago even though they look a lot the same this has got the 6.6 .6 in it the Trans Am bird on the hood now I had a 91 Trans Am that was a really nice car and it was fast it was as fast as it looked good I'll tell you okay. very nice very nice now this is a race car built more memory of Biltmore Racing Team owners Joe Biles and the driver is Bill 
miss you. Frank Brantley is the name that's on the vehicle. Owner is Russell Batten. I'm going to tell you from experience that these vehicles, a lot of money goes into them. I had a cousin that got into racing and to hear him and his daddy talk, his daddy was Cranford Green, my grandmother's brother, and they done a lot of racing themselves, and what they told me they put into transmissions and rear ends and whatever, and this was back in the 70s, was $10,000 or so for either one of those I just mentioned, used, and they spent a lot of money. Now, this here, I'm gonna say is a 1957 or so body on this, 240 cubic inches. Number 21, Tommy Riggins. Very clean, very clean. Seen this one when it pulled up this morning. Now this car would have probably been racing 20 or 30 years ago. None of these vehicles, as far as I know, are racing today. Uh, this over here, I'm going to say is a early 30 model Ford. Richard Poindexter, number 14. And I like this one. This is real nice. So, Probably about a 1932 Chevrolet. I may have said forward a minute ago, but it's the Chevrolet. Oh, uh, like I say, I am not a car expert by no means. And a lot of the model years were extended. And like I say, I'm not an expert by no means. And like I say, this is the Jacksonville Hall of Fame race car club that does this. Number double zero, Cracker. Now, this would be a mid 80s, kind of sort of model after the General Lee with the double zero and the confederate flag on the top Dennis Peterson now I knew a lot of the Petersons lived on the west side of Jacksonville Buster Peterson and his brother Roy and their part of the family. Now, this is, I'm going to say a 1955, probably, yep, 1955 Chevrolet, jet black, beautiful car, got the dice, even got the old inspection certificate from Back in 1968-69, we were required to have those back in the day if you drove the car on the road any kind of way. Blue and tan interior. Another beautiful, beautiful vehicle. Now, 
over here I'm gonna say this is a 41 or a 42 Ford pickup truck and it's got this little scooter in the back I like that little scooter but this is a Ford V8 and at the time this was one of the fastest car or truck on the road Ford V8 it was a when Clyde Barra stole vehicles for his and Bonnie's escapades or whatever he always tried to steal a Ford V8 because they were fast but this is silver with a black and tan interior beautiful truck beautiful truck I'd be proud to drive around in this you know what's so funny it doesn't now <coughs> next to that we've got a mid 60s model Nova SS with a 383 in it red with a black interior a lot of chrome under the hood 383 was a, another one of those motors that was really fast hopefully I'm not getting too much glare in the video here man I'm gonna tell you these are really really nice vehicles now this here is a 57 Bel Air and this has been tricked out and it's a bare bones vehicle this is not something that is used for driving to church on Sunday this has been tricked out for racing back seats been removed two bucket seats in the front it's got a power shift transmission looks like in it looking from that shifter this in there it's got a little lever up underneath the shifter I don't know whether y'all can see it or not but it's got a below the shifter knob it's got a thing you operate with your middle fingers and if I'm not mistaken they call those power shifters now this has been tricked out with the blowers on the top two carburetors man it's nice real nice uh, <coughs> got one more over here that's a late 20s early 30s call it the 2x4 in memory of Ralph Wally Masters built from Ford reject parts <laughs> Tom Relaford's Point, Herb Spivey. Now, this is a homemade job that somebody built from the bottom up. Something else. Now this one they didn't pull off the trailer today for one reason or another but really nice really nice
I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, they had this here last year, but I didn't. I didn't come to. That's a 383. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That one's good. I've probably seen some of these vehicles running back in the day. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, but uh, the Peterson car over there, I knew Buster Peterson and Roy Peterson. And like I say, some of these vehicles I know I've seen running, I've seen about different places. And I seen this show last year, but I didn't stop and look or whatever. And I come here every morning and have my coffee and a cigar down here or whatever. And I seen y'all setting up, so yep. I figured I would shoot it for my YouTube channel. Don't get no better than that. Nope, it sure don't. <laughs> well, that's about it for the little car show we've got here today. And as always, I appreciate y'all's time, effort to take a few minutes and look at my channel. Uh, appreciate it if y'all like, subscribe. Like I said before, it don't cost you nothing to subscribe. It just helps with my algorithms and the popularity of my channel. And once again, appreciate you fellers and ladies. And God bless you and y'all have a great day now.